this is downright squirrely right through here. just the lizard that's now gone. See that? 8.27 coming out the inlet at Black Point. It's because of the outgoing tide. You're going to go down a little further and then turn in? delicious coconut bread from Lorraine's mom in Black Point. Out there I thought those little foam things were crab traps but clearly they are just foam and pretty soon I'm gonna have to really focus on getting in here because it's a very strong outgoing current about three knots and it's a very narrow cut. girls are snorkeling this little shallow flat. It's beautiful here. It is so calm. I'm being absolutely still today. This is a beautiful place. Big Farmer's Key. And the water's about four foot deep here and you can see every little grain of sand on them. Okay. So we went we went checked out this spot over by the inlet and uh, very cool we saw some huge huge ocean trigger fish and uh, huge ocean trigger fish and a couple of huge sharks Nicole was squealing like a pig baby trigger like this really it's so cute. oh wow queen baby <laughs> <laughs> is it a queen trigger baby queen awesome R you want to get a video of it yeah. you want to get some video of it okay it's hiding in a conch shell oh is it <laughs> it's on yeah okay. it's recording now <laughs> This is on the way to Georgetown.
better start powering up soon. Yeah, bring in the power. <laughs> 2.2 amps an hour. Was that thunder? Oh, okay, that was the first time I heard any thunder. looks like it's just a small little one it might slide right past us I actually um, one of my buddy boats saw a water spout and then all of a sudden this huge gust came and I rounded up but Sputterbug's outboard was almost in the water I doused the jib we were healing over over 45 degrees but I survived anything. <laughs> I'm thinking I should have left my mainsail up through this. It's not so terrible. Woo. But we are rocking. I am inflating spider bug. My dinghy. <laughs> Welcome to Georgetown. Yeah, I don't have the floor because it um, blew out in a hurricane. And the reason I left my dinghy in the water during a hurricane is because I couldn't get the um, bolts on my outboard unscrewed and I didn't have a bolt cutter. And so I left the dinghy in the water and I lost the bow line and the... Um, the side hole, like hand holds, the floor, my flip flops. But I still have my dinghy because I tied a spare bell line onto it. I like to put this big fender in the middle as a seat, like that. Spider bag is in the water, and now it's time to put the outboard on it. Um, my outboard wasn't working when I put it on, and I suspected it was a fuel problem, so I decided to check the carburetor, and I will show you that in another video. But in the meantime, I decided to go to shore with somebody I'd met in Deltaville a little while ago on reload and charge, and I did my laundry there, and I decided to dry it on my boat. And the music in the background is not my music, it's coming from a tour boat, I think. This is the fun part right here, where I put my underwear up for all to see. Okay. a big wave coming in.
would love to go to Chat and Jill, but um, my dinghy isn't working. I don't know where my other flip flop is. Oh, it was gone. I did get my dinghy outboard running, and I'll show you how in the next video. thank everybody who's already supported me especially those of you on patreon or paypal and if you like what i'm doing you can also support me um on patreon i talk a little bit more about the details of my life and what i'm doing uh, and the experiences that i'm having so i would love to connect with you there as well and i hope you have a great day